the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. This is the Sports Vote Campaign Update for Sunday, December 5th, 2021. Season 4, Episode 4, Gambling and Crypto Crash and Burn. So on my trip uh, a couple years ago to uh, Israel, there was the Elvis Cafe on one of the routes. I'm bringing this up because um, of all the places that I saw there, nothing was themed Americana like that except for this place. My point is, once again, that the uh, desire for retro, you know, the 50s, the 50s era, the same thing that put uh, Trump in power, that is what this is indicative of. And while we didn't go that route with the theming of the site, and probably never will, uh, it was basically made fun of when I brought it up, uh, my point stands that the desire for the uh, good old days, or at least what per- people perceive to be the good old days, is the reason for this sort of thing. Um, The Christmas parade crash and all the other stuff that's going on, these uh, spasms of violence and cracks in the culture are indications of the economy getting weaker. Um, This is not going to get better uh, from what I can see, unfortunately. Um, A few more of the uh, parties involved in the lies last year related to the election and the lawyers involved in it have been sanctioned by the courts to pay hefty fees and fines as a responsibility, uh, to take responsibility for what they've done in clogging up the courts with this trash. That's good because it sets a precedent which will create more of this. Once again, lies have consequences. There is an accounting. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to happen immediately, but it does happen eventually. There is a Navajo um, Bitcoin farm being (laughs) put together. This is an extreme example of the divide between the rich and the poor at all points. Uh, in I mean, this is even worse than, than the inner city ghettos. Um, this is like from the east to the west, uh, kind of like the homeless camps in front of million dollar condos in Venice. So economic disparity writ large uh, couldn't be more drastic than putting a crypto mining operation in an Indian reservation. Uh, These things do tend to draw to a point uh, in some place in the world or places in the world you always see like the war front, essentially, of every controversy like this. And this is certainly the most extreme example I've seen. There's some chatter about Disney getting uh, getting involved directly in gambling. I really have a hard time seeing them doing that directly. They already have some involvement through their ownership of various enterprises. But I think... uh, the guys up top there realize the danger of, of a direct correlation. But at this point, as sick and disgusting as society has become, why not, right? Why not have the mouse uh, start addicting kids right off from the bat, uh, right off the bat on sports gambling and also confusing them as the difference between investing in gambling and gambling and what's right and what's, for, what's wrong, basically. I mean, just mix the lines all together. So the, comp- uh, the comparison between... Precious metals, specifically gold and crypto, is false. They don't correlate, even though they sometimes correlate in the market prices. Why? Because the core, the core question is, what can crypto be used for? Okay, Not transit, not exchanged for. The key word is used. It can't be used for anything. Uh, whereas gold and precious metals are used in electronics manufacturing, jewelry, and many other types of things. So... That's the, that's the key distinction. Um, there are always places in the world where the conflict draws to a point, as I said above, with the crypto mining consider uh, being put on uh, Navajo land. Uh, I think personally, from my experience and study, the, the most keen example is Jerusalem and, and the, the way that fighting has gone on over that place since the beginning of time. That's really where the conflict draws to a point in the most extreme case. So, uh, USFL looks like they're making another go at it, um, put on the list to study and see what, if anything, can be done to get entry there. Uh, This is, goodness, the third or fourth time they've tried to get this off the ground. So, if we're supposed uh, failed Ponzi scheme, 
how, how is it possible that we're still operating years after we stop taking any new funds in? That makes absolutely no sense. I guess you're going to pretend like we're not here and make that claim when it's clearly not the case. You can't put any money in, have been able to do it for years, uh, yet we're still there and the market trades thousands of contracts a day. So that's pretty moronic. Uh, Meta plus crypto and Disney bets, meaning that Disney embracing sports bets or betting, gambling, etc. equals idiocracy, the movie. Mike Judge, take a look. That's a prediction of the future. Things go along this uh, present path. Uh, one of the things Gary Halbert taught me uh, in teaching me how to write advertising copy and that kind of thing is uh, exercising restraint. It's one of the toughest things I've ever had to do. Uh, he told me never, you know, to promise him that I would never learn the, uh, use the skills that he gave me to uh, do the wrong thing to hurt people, which I can easily do, um, you know, with the tools I've I've accumulated just with uh, ink and paper and stamps. Uh, exercising restraint, that's, uh, that's a tough one. Got to learn haters are going to hate. That's a tough one for me. Uh, people make up their mind, facts be damned. But I will tell you this, you lie with dogs, you get up with fleas. And you're accountable for every idle word. Every idle word, every lie, every distortion, every omission. That's a pretty big downside for a little bit of an ego trip. Smashing grabs, another indication of the economy turned down. Gripe, gripe, gripe. Get off your butt and do something. Complaining is for idiots and losers. Griping, nobody wants to hear, hear you gripe. No, nobody cares. Um, lying, backstabbing, flip-flopping, traitors. Okay, so fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. It will not happen a third time. See James 1.8. So there is um, movement in Florida to uh, to slow down or stop. Basically, there's sand in the gears. Uh, I won't go into this in more detail here, but just do the research. A judge uh, overturned the uh, Florida law that was moving the, the ball forward on, on sports betting. So it looks like they got some trouble there, which is great. Uh, the next phase of the... Um, Coronavirus situation is about to start, and you should clearly see that. I say there's about a 50-50 chance of a shutdown, lockdown, and that includes a government shutdown, so this could be even worse than before. 50-50 um, chance, about a coin toss at this point. Um, indications are, I would say, a little more than 50-50, probably 65-35 in favor of a shutdown, lockdown. So prepare for that however you can. Um, I never guaranteed ASM success, and I can't. It's not possible to do that. It's illegal to do that. I never did that. If you want to say otherwise, then put up your proof. Send it to help at allsportsmarket.com, and I'll publish it. What I did say is I would do everything I possibly could uh, to see it succeed. I said that from the first day many, many years ago, more than a decade ago, closer to two decades ago, and I still do that every single day. Every single day of the week, no exceptions. Um, and I've done far beyond what anybody would have done given my circumstances and resources. So I'll say this again. One funding order that we can publicize and it all uh, becomes a success. It, it, that's the only trigger that's required. That's the only trigger. And this is not on my back by myself, so forget that, okay? Nobody's paying me to do this. In fact, I'm paying to do this at this point. I'm... I'm once again, carrying expenses on my back. Nobody's paying me to do this, so you have no claim on me. This is not on my back by myself. You want ROI? Start working towards that end and stop making trouble and go away. You're hurting nobody but yourself. Remember, I don't get a payday out of this, even when it works. So um, talk about Macau arrests in Macau for um, <laughs> illegal gambling and money laundering. That's, that's amusing. Um, that's happening far beyond... Uh, the amount of that that goes on here right now is far beyond anything happening over in China and Macau, I guarantee you. So um, enforce the 1961 Wire Act, or frankly, you don't have any credibility to talk to me about laws. I don't want to hear about laws. It's all just a big lie. So um, enough is enough. I mean, if you want people to take the law seriously, then uh, 
enforce the law, especially 60-year-old settled law, 60-year-old settled law. So lots of um, stuff going on here with uh, draft queens. I guess uh, what's important is that the uh, founders took out their hundreds of millions of dollars through the uh, SPAC shortcut. So uh, take a look at that stock chart. I guess what's important there, gambler mentality, right? They got that bag. Now who's left holding the hold, holding the rest of it, right? The public. Notice the correlation between my uh, revised transition date of 2023 by the end of and uh, 2025 uh, being claimed by DraftKings for profitability minimum 2025. So that's four years from now. Um, I know these, this is not a coincidence. Now, how much sand we're throwing in the gears, I don't really have any way of measuring it, but we are. I can assure you we are throwing. We're the only thing standing between um, gamble, a complete gambling takeover. Everybody else has capitulated, disappeared, gone out of business, given up, whatever. Uh, I'm absolutely certain that if we weren't standing in this gap that it would take over without any resistance whatsoever. So, um, yeah, guarantee you. So two years ago, I visited Crazy Horse as part of Hero Club, and uh, don't believe this is a, a coincidence either. Um, you know, there is nothing at this point but incentives. Uh, right and wrong don't seem to factor in at all. At all. Um, so who has the most in, uh, incentive to enforce the Wire Act? The Native Amin Indian American tribe. Uh, the Native American Indian tribes have the the most incentive to enforce. So. Uh, I've told um, Alper and Chad to focus on this as the point of pain where we can uh, gain some allies. You know, the sovereign nation status is a big deal. Long, long time ago, uh, Neil Brown mentioned that the Indian tribes were the biggest player in the gambling space and that we should work to get them on our side. Um, you know, I agree with that. I didn't really understand how how true that was until I see how these legal maneuvers are happening. Um and it, it is definitely the case that the tribes are the ones that are most effective at, uh, at and that's what's happening in Florida, um, is making trouble for this march. Uh, they're basically sovereign nations within the nation. And again, this goes back to the Wire Act. So, yeah, the Hero Club's still around. Um, interestingly, I was just poking around, and on their uh, homepage, there's actually a picture from that exact event, um, the one where we visited Mount Rushmore and uh, and Crazy Horse, which are like two two sides of the of the coin, so to speak. But the key point is, is here is that gaining allies in the tribes. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe that's where we get uh, um, you know our start to to get that first publicized fundraise. But definitely, they are the ones that are going to uh, going to be most effective in slowing this march down. They have the most to lose by this law breaking going on. And and that's it's it's clear. Look, uh, you can pretend like it's not happening, but uh, it is happening. The 1961 War Act is being broke broken thousands of times, really per second. I'm sure uh, by everybody. Okay, so uh, liar Leon the peon will be writing some more checks soon. Just remember, buddy, you're never going to get that money back. So it's just throwing money down a black hole. You have no chance whatsoever of ever collecting a cent. I promise you that, not one dime. So, Merry Christmas. You're going to be writing a check right around Christmas time. And you're just going to keep on coming. So, war of attrition, we will win. Barbados uh, leaving the British crown. Yeah, that's kind of, it's not really what happened. Um, take a closer look, still part of the Commonwealth. I don't know what game they're playing here. Uh, it's very strange. It's been a long time since we've seen a, a country... Uh, officially remove uh, Queen Elizabeth from from head of state. But if you read closer, it says Bar <laughs> Barbados is still part of the Commonwealth. So it's some kind of game they're playing here. Um, all right, so there's a short report, another one. Now remember, the previous one hasn't gone away yet, the one that said that they're one of their companies that they merged with was doing all kinds of illegal business. Just because it's not in the news every day doesn't mean that it's still going, not going on in the background. Now there's a new one uh, that says that there's no chance of profitability because uh, even if you cut the uh, marketing expenses by 90% and run the projections out, they're still going to lose $200 million a quarter. I've said this for a year now. 
that this model is flawed to the core. Um, and now there's a, a very famous short seller who has come to the same conclusion, published a report. And uh, they've been sinking 10% per day. So we'll see how long they can hang on to that because that kind of capitulation uh, happens very fast. And it generally creates panic and more news stories, which creates more panic, which creates more news stories and more panic. Um, my Twitter summary for the last 28 days as of the December 1st was uh, I'm up to 5,000 impressions per uh, over that 28-day period ending the 1st of December with 1,770 profile visits, which is up 77%. Profile visits is what counts because that's where they can see the links to ASM uh, website and our materials. So uh, Jason Robbins, CEO of DraftKings, says they uh, don't want players who win. That's really uh, funny. They want people who are uh, uh, enjoy losing their money uh, for entertainment purposes. Quite literally, that's... <laughs> That's what he said. Uh, that's really uh, hilarious. They don't want people who win. They don't want sharp gamblers, and they don't want bonus jumpers. And actually, he says that they uh, bonus jumpers are not the biggest part of their um, their customer base, which is a total lie. They absolutely are. That's why they're losing so much money. And look, you wouldn't uh, care if you knew how to run a sports book. It wouldn't matter who wins or loses because you you're only supposed to be profiting off of the off the vig. Okay, not off of whether they win or lose, and they just reported they lost $25 million unexpectedly last quarter because the book was out of balance. So they don't know what they're doing, number one. And I said it's extremely difficult. Uh, that's why the experience really counts, and the guys who are offshore and have been doing this a long time um, really have an advantage over you because it's a super tough thing to keep a book in balance. So he's pretty much lying across the board here, but at least he uh, rented out a stadium for his wife's birthday that's good and bought a couple of private jets so if you wonder who's paying for all that um you sucker gamblers are so again gamblers gambling is for losers period um all right so amy coney barrett is going to be the decider on abortion i pretty much said this uh, right from the point she was nominated to the court last year um should you know that's going to be the end of roe Ro wade it's uh it's going to happen it's the writings on the wall. I can tell by the panic of the pro-abortion people that it's it's going to happen. And as far as this, well, you know, it's going to be back-to-back -back alleys. Hey, you know what? That's on you. That that argumentation makes no sense whatsoever. Um, that's like saying, well, we should legalize murder. You know, if you get mad at somebody, you should be able to kill 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 them if you get mad at them because they're going to do it anyway, right? That's that's your reasoning it makes makes no sense. So if you want to mutilate your body and kill an innocent. Um, infant, that's on you. You'll face God on that matter one day. So, better you than me. Um, all right. So, DraftKings is facing another IP lawsuit. Another one. This is not the first one. Um, apparently, for the last three years, this company's been trying to come to some kind of uh, deal on a patent infringement, and they've ignored them. Of course, they have their scumbag criminal operators why would they pay attention to the law i mean they're breaking the wire act thousands of times a day so it's a billion dollar risk uh so that's a you know let's add that to the pile of of legal issues in which there are tons of them uh and you know i was saying that incentives are all that matter so that's the case um nobody cares about right and wrong at least not enough people to make any difference this thing has been a criminal scam from the beginning so what we have to hope for here is that all the incentives start to line up for a destruction. And it and that may, with the short selling going on, uh, short selling reports, lawsuits, and the and the shark circling, um, it may be worth more destroyed than operating. And look, this capitulation will happen very fast, and the leagues will run away from this. Um, I'm surprised they haven't already. They're they're I'm sure they're watching this very nervously, especially this precipitous drop in the stock price. Um, when people flee, they flee fast. So we'll see. Next, uh, I would say the next few months are going to be very, very uh, critical in terms of where this is all going to go. Uh, yeah, again, Roe v. Wade's gone. I told Alper this sometime last year. Um, Starry decisis, which is uh, let the decision stand. That's one of the main things on the line. Uh, we'll see which way that goes. Uh, it could have an impact on 
on on the peon matter. We'll see. Um, I would say right now that stare decisis should be applied right at this moment um, because that is the decision from 60 years ago. And to pretend like this law doesn't exist and continue to expand and allow sports books to operate is ridiculous. It's it's absolutely nuts. The only way that you cannot break the law is by going to a physical casino and giving the money over the counter. You can't use a banking system. So there's just no, absolutely no way around that. Uh, you you cannot transmit money for bets. That was the whole 7995 coding of credit cards from 20 years ago. That has not changed. That was to prevent running afoul of the Wire Act. And it just, everybody pretends like it's not there. And it is. So there's you're either going to have to have a legal system and you're going to have to actually enforce and take it seriously or it's going to disappear. Simple as that. Um, MLB lockout. So uh, just in time for this next uh, version of, of coronavirus. <laughs> Boy, they seem to be wheeling these things out every couple months. Uh, I'm very, very skeptical of what's going on with that. But anyway, that's, you know, I'm not a doctor and, and it's not my place to make those claims, but it sure is awful suspicious. So first time, um, first time a lockout since 94, 95. So that's really not very good. Um, again, um, be- a little better than a 50, 50 chance, I would say for another shutdown lockdown, including a government shutdown. So that could magnify things. Uh, especially with all the public assistance things that are out there. Regardless, games or no games, ASM is still alive. This is something a sports book or no other model can claim. We proved it last year. The market still operated even though there were no games. That doesn't happen with a sports book or any other model that's ever been tried. Uh, Chanos is the short seller. Uh, it says that the expenses are insane and the model is absolutely flawed. That's I said that a year ago. Um and look, when these guys, um, they're the flagship, you know, even more than the existing operators, it seems that the market has segregated the Caesars and those guys that have physical casinos in the casino places like Vegas. The market has segregated that from uh, from DraftKings, even more than FanDuel. You don't hear much talk, talk of FanDuel uh, as the flagship kind of of where, where this um, expansion is going. And now they're starting to be uh, discuss, calling it discussion, calling it Enron, <laughs> the Enron of sports gambling. I, I don't think that's off the mark. Um, it sure smells like a scam uh, based upon the numbers, even the numbers they put out. Something goes down with these guys in a big way. It's going to chill the space. Um, there's They're losing 10% per day in the last few days in the stock market. That's going to create an explosion of lawsuits. Uh, you know, it's already started. Merry Christmas to these jerks. That's exactly what they deserve. You have baseball shutting down, at least for now. And then you have the potential shutdown of the other sports if this uh, new variant of the virus begins to cause trouble. Um, lawsuits pile on top of lawsuits. You know, sharks circle the water and it, it becomes a toilet bowl pretty fast. So that incentive lineup we were hoping for just might happen. These things do happen fast. Look at Enron. Look at look at long-term capital. That one really came apart fast. So don't rule it out. Uh, Sidney Powell and others fined by the judge. Yeah, the, there's there's several of these going on. Um, this is a good first step, although it needs to be even. I doubt it will happen that they'll end, anybody will end up with any sort of jail time. But just to put fines on the record is pretty significant because an awful lot of this. Uh, lying to the courts goes on. It's happened in our cases over and over again by the other side where things that have been put into the record of flat false. There didn't seem to be any um, consequences for that. So when you start to see this kind of thing, these people are supposed to be at the top of the game, supposedly. Uh, when they start to get fined, it trickles down pretty fast. You you know, you, if they'll get, if they'll start Finding the people and punishing the people at the top, it trickles down very, very fast because it's used as uh, as precedent. So uh, Kaylee McEnany says that she never lied because she went to Oxford, Harvard, Georgetown, and is a Christian. That's really funny. Um, aren't those law schools? Aren't those pretty famous law schools? So that's where you learn how to lie real good. Weasel word yourself. Uh, weasel wording is uh, what one of my uh, relatives called it. That's exactly what they learn how to do is is weasel word. 
And uh, be careful with that last claim, because God will not be mocked. Uh, Kathy Wood's Ark is sinking. That's, that's cute, huh? Kathy Wood's Ark is sinking. I don't understand this stock pimp, pimp culture. I don't know, understand how that's legal. I don't understand how you can, um, you can hype these people like this um, and then you know run them through the media machine. But anyway, her ark is sinking. Uh, crypto falls 20% in the last 24 hours, actually 21, 22%, and DraftKings is falling 10% per day. So that's the report for the last two weeks. Um, if you want to support this work, please see the show notes. Um, any financial contribution benefits 140% uh, to school supplies in the U.S. through World Vision. That's 10% of the amount times 14 times. You can actually see the link for yourself. Um, we've been doing contributions to World Vision since day one, since the very beginning through thick and thin. Every time a dollar comes out, at least 10% goes back out, and then it's multiplied somewhere between 8 and 14 times uh, through their matching programs. That has never stopped, even under the worst of circumstances, all the way back to the restart, which was in uh, 2004, right? Uh, so, I'm sorry, 2014. We've done that every day, um, er every time, rather. So that's never stopped. You'll also see the uh, resources there, uh, in the links and such in the show notes where we keep things up to date. Uh, thank you very much for your time and attention. And have a nice day. Bye now.